Number one, uh, maybe obvious, and some of this may feel repetitive, creating an open and honest culture that's not afraid to speak about the importance of mental and emotional health. A lot of companies that have really good resources and maybe have some support systems don't assume that the people that are working for you know what you've offered. A lot of companies provide some really nice EAP services that even act, even allow access to free therapy and counseling. And the minority of their company utilizes them because they don't know about them or because there's still stigma around needing it. If there's not a destigmatization and they're not aware of the resources, you're not going to get the benefit, uh, the utility from. It. Uh, like Mr. Rogers says, uh, if you can't mention it, you can't manage it. Um, Mark Attridge in the American Journal of Health Promotion said the single most important workplace context factor is when senior leadership in an organization recognizes and personally gets involved to help develop a work culture that's accepting and supportive of employees who are struggling with mental health issues. Mm -hmm.